Warning. Before using the training collar for the first time, take a few minutes to watch this video. Read the service instructions enclosed with every product and follow the directions given by the manufacturer. The Dogtrace electronic training collars are intended for dog training. These may only be used by adults. Do not leave the electronic training collars within reach of children. Important. Every dog is different. Always train your dog with regard to its temperament and physical and mental condition. Before starting training, check the sensitivity of the dog to the product. Always start the training lessons with the dog on a leash in a calm and safe area. If the dog is belligerent towards animals or people, always consult with a dog keeping and training specialist. Many dog owners tackle the communication, learning and training of their dogs every day. The Dog Trace Company has developed and makes an efficient, reliable and safe electronic training system for you. Electronic training collars, electronic no bark collars and electronic invisible dog fences. The electronic training collar consists of a receiver which fits round the dog's neck and of a transmitter by which means the dog handler may transmit an audio signal and one or more corrective pulses. The dog handler may select the intensity of the corrective pulse according to the dog's responsiveness. The electronic training collar will help you influence your dog's behaviour reliably and clearly, both in your proximity and at a distance and thereby train him how you want, which behaviour is correct and which not. A positive approach, willingness to understand the dog's thoughts, motivation and the electronic training collar will bring you success in training your canine friend. It will make you and your dog partners and perhaps a sports team if you wish. Dog Collar Assembly First Starting Up Before using your Dog Trace electronic training collar for the first time, study carefully the service instructions enclosed by the manufacturer and then put it together. Battery Installation Replacement in your remote control. Locate a screw in the battery compartment cover on the back of the remote control. Use a crosshead screwdriver to remove it and swing the cover away carefully. Insert a new battery and mind the correct polarity indicated in the battery compartment plate. You will find the battery specification and type in the surface instructions enclosed. Replace the battery cover and attach it with the screw using adequate force. Battery insertion replacement in the receiver dog collar. Remove four screws from the receiver cover, swing it away and insert a new battery in the receiver. Again, make sure that the polarity is correct. After inserting the battery, a tone signal should be heard to indicate the correct installation. If the tone signal is not heard, remove the battery from the receiver and retry its insertion. Before replacing the cover, check to see if the rubber sealing is correctly inserted in its groove. You can enhance the water tightness of the ceiling by applying a small amount of Vaseline. The screws should be screwed in using adequate force. Mounting of electrodes. Every package contains two types of electrode. According to your dog's hair and size, choose the corresponding electrode length and screw it on the receiver by hand. Then tighten it slightly. Do not use any tools to tighten the electrodes. The receiver might get damaged. Turning the remote control on, off. After successful insertion of batteries and installation of electrodes, turn on the remote control by pressing down the on, off button for about one second. The LCD display will be lit after the activation. 
the indicator on the remote control for the Easy model starts flashing. Turning the receiver on off. Turn on the receiver dog collar by placing the bottom of the remote control onto the target on the receiver for one second. The indicator on the receiver starts flashing green. This means that the receiver is ready for use. Familiarise yourself with the functions of the electronic training collar. You can turn off the receiver in the same way. After placing the bottom part of the remote control to the target of the receiver, the indicator will be lit red and the unit is turned off. The electronic dog trace training collar is ready for use. The dog's age from which the use of electronic training collars is suitable is individual and it depends on the mental and physical development of the dog. However, it should not be used on a dog younger than six months. Electronic dog trace training collars are suitable for various dog breeds and sizes. Getting started. Getting the dog used to the collar. Before you start using the collar in training lessons, your dog must get used to it for several days to avoid undesirable conjunctions between the collar and its effects. Put the collar on your dog every time you let it go out of the pen or when you go for a walk. Correct mounting. Before mounting the collar, always check its functionality and battery level. Select a suitable length of contacts according to the size and type of dog and the length of its hair. Put the collar with the receiver on the dog's neck, tighten it and move the receiver up and down several times to provide the electrodes of the receiver with sufficient contact with the dog's skin and thus ensure faultless operation. Check whether the collar is not mounted too tightly. Checking the dog's sensitivity. Every dog differs in sensitivity, so always test your dog's sensitivity to a corrective pulse before using the collar. Calm the dog and carefully watch its responses to the lowest level corrective pulse used. The dog usually responds by moving the ears, turning the head, by having a lick or by changing its position. If the dog does not respond, check the collar for correct mounting. Add one level more on the remote control and repeat the entire action. When the dog responds, check the level of the pulse on the display or on the non-adjustable button, easy model. Use this pulse for training in rest stages and when training in more demanding situations. Use a pulse one or two levels higher. When using a corrective pulse during training sessions, always watch the dog's responses carefully. The corrective pulse is not for punishing. Its intensity should always be sufficient enough for the dog to perceive and accept it. It should never cause pain and fear. Sound signal. All electronic dog trace training collars allow you to communicate with your dog better using the sound signal. The sound signal can be used in the following cases. Firstly, as a warning before a corrective pulse is used. In this case, always use the sound signal one or two seconds before using the corrective pulse. Your dog will soon learn what behaviour is incorrect or inappropriate and that the sound signal means disagreement, wrong. This is the way you can simplify and intensify your dog's learning and you can gradually remove the corrective pulse. In contrast to a voice command or a whistle, the sound signal is always the same. Learning is then faster and the responses learned are firmer. Secondly, the sound signal in the command place. You can use the sound signal instead of a command. 
In certain situations, it is more convenient to use a different sound signal with or without the voice command. The come call is one of those situations, especially if the distance is large or the environment is noisy. Here, you would have to call aloud or use more expressive voice intonation. Teach your dog the come order as described in chapter Basic Commands. At first, teach your dog to understand the verbal command and then connect it with the sound signal in the second and third phases in such a way that you start using the sound signal one or two seconds before your verbal command. Thirdly, the sound signal to highlight the correct behavior the dog always learns best by motivation, reward, and on account of confirmation and consolidation of proper behavior. Whenever the dog does anything properly, praise him and give him a treat. To highlight the good equals correct command, and thus the right situation and behavior, you can use the sound signal from the electronic training collar. Whenever your dog behaves properly, use the remote control to send a short sound signal to the collar and give him a treat and lots of praise. The dog learns what behavior is desirable and he will soon behave in this way. Basic commands. Each of us wishes that the dog is their four-legged friend, a family member. However, no dog was born perfect and a member of human society. You must raise him for that. Raising and training a dog is built on proper communication between you and your dog. That is why you must learn the way he thinks and communicates. Dogs firstly communicate using body language face play, the timbre of sounds and the mood accompanying them. They do not understand the words, so you must teach them what a given word, command, means by associating the command with a certain situation. In the next part of our video, we have prepared simple guidelines on how to train your dog so that he can understand the basic commands. You will need the electronic dog trace collar for the training lessons. A smooth chain collar, a long, preferably 10 meter leash, a 2 to 3 meter leash and a treat pouch. Addressing your dog, drawing attention. If you want to start communicating with your dog, you must always get his attention first of all. The dog that doesn't notice you cannot learn anything and he will not obey you either. So first of all we will learn how to attract his attention and motivate him for collaboration with the handler. Put some granulated dog food you usually give your dog in a bum bag or a treat pouch. Clip the treat pouch on your belt so that your dog cannot see when grasping for it, preferably on your right buttock. Dogs are very watchful and they soon associate this movement of yours with a treat and do not learn how to respond to the command but to your hand in the treat pouch. The same applies to bag crackling. Clip a two to three meter leash on your dog and mount the electronic decontrol collar on him. Put one to three granules in your right hand. Address the dog by calling his name and back away quickly from him. He starts running to you in order to catch up with you. At that moment, show him your hand with the treat and dangle it in front of him, moving your hand to the right in a circle, as long as the dog catches the hand with the treat and you allow him to grab the treat. This is followed by saying good and stroking him. In addition to praising and stroking, give the dog a few more granules. If the dog is preoccupied with his current activity, for example by sniffing, 
and does not respond to your movement from him, addressing and using your remote control, send a gentle, short, corrective pulse and continue retreating and showing your hand with the treat. In this way, the dog learns to respond to addressing and to the fact that your right hand gives a signal and a treat. The dog addressing works correctly when the dog responds every time you call his name, leaves everything and runs without any command with his eyes asking, what will you give me? What will we be doing? Will we be playing? The come command, calling. Calling is one of the most important commands, but also one of the most difficult exercises of all. Its correct functioning is the presumption that you can let your dog run loose off the leash. The disobedient dog running loose may cause a traffic accident, frighten passers-by, chase animals, get lost or be attacked by another dog. If you master the dog addressing exercise, that is, your dog responds every time you call his name, you can start practicing the come command. Stage number one, explaining the activity. Click the dog on a two to three meter leash and mount the electronic decontrol training collar on him. Put some food granules in your treat pouch and you can start. To warm up, address the dog several times as you have learned in the previous lesson. Add the come command to his name and start backing away from the dog. The dog starts running to you in the same way as in dog addressing, trying to catch up with you to get the treat you are hiding in your hand. At that moment, guide him with your hand hiding the treat to the center of your body. Hold your hand approximately at the height of the dog's head. Keep backing away until the dog grabs the treat from your hand. Then praise him and reward him with the treat. This is the way how to explain to him what the come command means. And by guiding him to the center of your body, he is also prepared for the following proper sitting in front of the dog handler. Choose a more restful location that is familiar to the dog for this exercise. It will help him concentrate better and learn faster. Stage number two, reinforcement of the activity. If your dog comes to you reliably at the come command when on a two to three meter leash, start increasing the distance. This time, clip the dog on a 10 meter leash and mount the electronic decontrol collar on him. Let the dog run about on a loose leash some two to three meters from you. Address the dog several times to warm up and strengthen his attention and motivation. Call him by his name along with the come command a few times at the short distance. If the dog responds reliably, start extending the distance as far as the entire leash length. Take into account the fact that the dog is confronted with a new and more difficult situation by the changed distance, so the world around him might be more interesting for him and his responses to the command might be slower. In this case, use the come command and while backing away from the dog, use the remote control to send an adequate corrective pulse to the D-control training collar and finish the exercise as in the previous activities. If the dog comes reliably after the come command, even within the entire 10 meter leash length, drop the leash and let your dog run loose and practice calling him from a greater distance, some 20 to 50 meters. The leash is still attached and the dog is still fully under control by means of the electronic decontrol training collar. Stage number three, activity with added distraction. After sufficient practicing and strengthening the come command at 20 to 50 meters distance, start to intensify the exercise gradually. Firstly, add some disturbing effects of the environment, 
and take off the leash later. Begin with letting the dog run within the 10 meter leash while holding it in your hand. Choose a slightly disturbing environment for this exercise, such as passers-by, cyclists, a man walking with his dog, and such like. Repeat this exercise in the same way as in previous stages. Always be consistent in performing the exercise. After thorough practice, you can again extend the distance up to 20 to 50 meters. Start changing the place and time and select more disturbing environments in successive steps. If the exercise works well, take off the leash and practice the come command off leash. After completing the come exercise and mastering the sit command, you can associate coming with sitting in front of the handler. Again, start on leash at a short distance. Use first the come and then the sit commands. Always work with the electronic training collar and you will have the dog under control all the time and he will enjoy a lot of free movement. The let's go command, free walk on the leash. Walking on leash is one of the most important things your dog must learn. This activity takes place relatively often and a lot of misunderstandings between the dog and his owner can occur. The owner exactly knows how his dog should behave and therefore he gives the dog various strange signals, verbal ones and those by the leash. The dog gets caught in confusion between his needs and the inapprehensible and often inconsistent requirements of his handler. This results in pulling the leash, crying, and eventually in inadequate and inadvisable dog punishment on the one hand and pulling on the other hand. While the dog is walking on the leash, generally two basic situations occur, walk on the leash and free on the leash. If you do not want your dog to pull you on his leash, you must differentiate the two situations for yourself and for your dog by commands and by changing your behavior. Free on the leash, the break command. The dog may turn to his likes and needs. The handler follows his dog on the leash. The dog may go for a run, sniff and explore his surroundings. Here it is possible to use a longer or adjustable leash. Walk on the leash, the heel command. The dog follows you on a loose leash, carefully watching the direction and pace of your walk. He may go to the left, to the right, or in front of you, but always without pulling his leash. He must not go for a run, sniff, and take an interest in people and animals passing by. Stage number one, explanation of the activity. Start practicing in a calm place familiar to your dog. The dog is on a two to three meter leash and he has the electronic decontrol training collar on. The dog has already mastered the addressing, drawing attention command. Let the dog move on his leash. Hold the leash in your left hand. Address your dog calling his name as you did in addressing your dog. Use your right hand holding goodies and make him follow the direction of your walk. Issue the let's go command and allow your dog to take the goodie from your hand and keep on walking. Keep the same pace and the same length of the leash so that the dog is aware of what to follow. Walk some 15 to 20 steps, call the dog again and issue the let's go command and guide him using your left hand in the opposite direction and enable him to take the goodie from your hand and keep on walking. This activity should explain the let's go command to the dog and strengthen his attention to you by changing the direction of your walk. Stage number two, reinforcement of the activity. Slowly extend the distance you are walking with the dog in one direction. If the dog becomes distracted and starts pulling his leash, 
change the direction of your walk again. Always make the dog follow the corresponding direction using your hand with a goodie. Praise him and give him a treat. If the dog gets behind or tends to sniff, repeat the let's go command. Step out sharply, straight ahead and send out a slight corrective pulse. As soon as the dog catches up with you, praise him and give him a treat. If the dog still tightens his leash as he moves straight on, issue the let's go command. Send out a slight corrective pulse and change the direction of your walk. Praise and reward the dog for correct behavior with a goodie. Stage number three, activity with added distraction. Start practicing in more distracting surroundings with movement of people and dogs. If the dog fails to pay attention and becomes distracted, proceed as indicated in stage number two. Be sure to always praise and reward your dog when he is on a loose leash and paying attention. The sit command. If the dog already responds to your call and understands the signals given by your right hand, you can start practicing the sit command. Stage number one, explaining the activity. Again, put some food granules in your treat pouch. Put the leash on the dog and let him move freely round you. Practice the drawing attention activity several times, addressing, movement, giving a treat. This warm-up exercise helps enhance the dog's attention and motivates him. Address the dog and attract him by the well-known movement as drawing his attention to your right hand where a granule is hidden. As soon as the dog begins following your hand, keep on drawing his attention for a moment. Issue the sit command and change the movement of your hand backwards and slightly above his muzzle. The dog sits down, trying to get the food granule. Praise him by saying good and reward him with a treat. At this stage, try making the dog sit next to you and do not trouble him by making the activity last too long. This results in reducing his learning speed and subsequent willingness to execute the activity. Practice in a calm and familiar place. You can do it at home as well. Repeat it three to five times at the most and let the dog have a rest. Stage number two, reinforcement of the activity. Carry it out as in stage number one. Extend gradually the period during which the dog is supposed to be sitting by a few seconds longer, holding the leash in your right hand. If the dog is less willing to sit down or he gets up immediately, repeat the command. Pull the leash backwards and slightly up. Your hand gives the same signal as the one with the goodie in stage number one and push his back slightly using your left hand. After that, praise the dog and reward him with a treat. Stage number three, activity with added distraction. After the previous stage is mastered perfectly, begin to change your position and distance from your dog before issuing the command. Add distracting surroundings and start working without the leash gradually. Integrate the activity in other situations and exercises. Check the immediate execution continuously and strengthen it by the electronic training collar. The lie down command. Stage number one, explaining the activity. Some food granules are available in your treat pouch. The dog is on the leash, moving freely round you. Repeat the drawing attention activity several times in the same way as indicated in the sit activity. After that, address the dog and attract him to come to your left hand. As soon as the dog follows your hand, keep on drawing his attention for a few moments. Issue the lie down command and move your hand forward and down onto the ground. The dog, trying to get the treat out of your hand, 
begins to lower his position as far as he lies down. You can help him by putting, not pressing down, your left hand on his withers, the highest part of the shoulders. Praise him and reward him with a treat. At this stage, only try to lay the dog down. Do not trouble him by making the activity last too long, analogous to the sit activity. Stage number two, reinforcement of the activity. Lay the dog as indicated in stage number one. Gradually extend the period during which the dog is supposed to lie down up to a few seconds, holding the leash in your right hand. If the dog is less willing to lie down or he immediately gets up, use a slight corrective pulse. Your hand again gives the same signal as indicated in stage number one. Your left hand pushes gently on his withers. During this activity, the receiver is placed on the dog's neck behind his ears so that the corrective pulse directs the dog downwards. After that, praise the dog and reward him with a treat. Stage number three. Activity with added distraction. After the previous stage is mastered, begin to change your position and distance from your dog before issuing the command. Add distracting surroundings and start working without the leash gradually. The stay command, stay put. After mastering all stages of the lie down activity, you can start practicing the stay activity. During this activity, your dog is required to stay in a given position for a longer time and also even after the handler moves away from him. Stage number one, time. The dog is on the leash. Make him lie down by your left leg. Praise and reward him. Repeat the lie down command and add the stay command and gradually extend the period for maintaining his position. If the dog changes his position, proceed in the same way as indicated in the activity for maintaining a given position. Put the dog patiently and calmly in the required position. Repeat stay. Stage number two, distance. The dog is on a leash. Make him lie down by your left leg. Praise and reward him. Repeat the command and add stay and stand one step in front of the dog. Leave him in the required position for a few seconds. Praise and reward him with a treat. Go back to the dog. Extend the distance gradually. If the dog changes his position, Get him back to his initial location and position patiently and calmly and repeat the entire situation again. Stage number three, situation. The dog is on a leash. Leave the dog gradually in various locations. Add distracting areas and unusual situations. The handler is standing, sitting, lying down or with his back turned to the dog. Phase number four, leash. Repeat the entire process with the dog off leash. Check the dog's activity using the electronic training collar during the entire period of practicing and reinforcement of the activity. The off command. Eating garbage and droppings. The dog is an inquisitive creature and he instinctively searches for food, examines the garbage bins and eats animal droppings and rolls in them. If the dog searches for dietary residue or starts concerning himself with animal droppings in your presence, do not shout at the dog, do not send him away, give him the off command and send a slight corrective pulse using the electronic training collar. The dog will learn that the activity is not allowed, based upon the combination of his behavior and the effect of the electronic training collar. 
The corrective pulse must be stronger than the goodies you found by prying if you want this method to be efficient. Jumping up. Jumping up is an important social behaviour for the dog as it is a greeting or a request for food and it is also a sign of obedience or dominance. As people are not dogs, they need not like jumping up. It may also be dangerous, especially if the dog is large and jumps on a small child or an elderly person. If you have the dog on a leash and you meet a person, stop and order the dog to sit. When the dog tries to jump up, give him the OFF command and send a slight corrective pulse by the remote control and repeat the SIT command. As soon as the dog sits down, reward and praise him. If the dog is OFF leash and tends to jump on a person passing by, give the dog the OFF command and send a slight corrective pulse and after that, call the dog by the come command and reward and praise him after his arrival. Pawing. Pawing is a normal activity of the dog. They find attractive smells and they want to hide a toy or food. If it is hot, they try to get colder ground in this way. Many dogs use pawing as relaxation if they are bored or anxious, whereas it is just enjoyment for others. It is difficult to support your efforts in getting rid of pawing, as it is almost impossible to catch the dog in the act. The only solution is that you let the dog go out in the garden only in your presence and with the electronic training collar on. If the dog starts pawing, do not shout and chase him. Tell him off and send a corrective pulse from your remote control. If executed correctly, the dog combines pawing with the off command and with the effect of the electronic training collar which discourages him from this activity. Important. The command must always come first. It is followed by body language backing, hand movement, a corrective action in case of need, pulling the leash, corrective pulse, supported by reward and praise. The command must always be given only once and it must always be followed by an action. Do not wait till the dog does anything. Make him respond as you are training him. If it is not possible, do not press on the dog. Try to engage him and motivate him. Do not train with a dog that is overfed or tired. Do not force the dog to take a treat. He must be interested in getting it on his own. Always have the dog under control, on a leash, with the electronic training collar or with both. In the Dog Trace Company, we are fully aware of the fact that every dog is different and every situation is slightly different. And so we are ready to answer your questions and help resolve your training problems in conjunction with the experienced experts from the consulting team of Yizhi Stuchka, Natural Canine Communication. Yizhi Stuchka, a former military instructor and police dog handler. He has been engaged in dog training since 1980. He is an expert in dog keeping and in their natural communication. He has been running his private dog school, the Dog Training Centre Yizhi Stuchka, since 1990.